Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the Hello guys and for today's video I'm really happy to say a good news to you and it is all about updating version of the graphics card of the Asus FX 550i and most of you guys in the comment section of, of my video last time uh, were asking if how can I do that to do this update the system which is turn into 18.2 point blah 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 and for today's video um, I'm gonna be teaching you on how to update it to 18.2 or on the latest version and it's gonna be easy and stay tuned and let's get started so before I start to make the video, I'd like to warn you guys that if you don't know pretty much about these stuffs, I'm just stay away from this because it's very dangerous. We are, we are talking about the bias um, stuffs, and if you damage it, um, warranty may avoid and stuff like that. And just be with someone um, older than you or knows about more laptop or trained more about um, stuffs like this, and so that you're safe and you're good to go. So let's get started. So first of all. Um, so this is my laptop. I'm very sorry guys for the negative stuffs going here because of my camera. Um, in my eyes, um, in my physical eyes, there's not really negative stuffs right here. But in my camera, there's negative stuffs here. But that really doesn't happen in real life. So first of all, you need to go on the search um, icon. And then second, type um, win flash. Win flash. And you can already see there, it win flash the stop up. Then you need to click that, and it will open after five seconds. So you just need to wait for it. Okay, so it's already there. So third, uh, next step is you, you should read this. And win flash is bias update tool. Do not make any inappropriate changes to the bias settings since it may result in blah, 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 blah. so. Just like I told you, um, this is a very serious um topic. So be aware of this. Um, network is okay, system is connected, network, adapter is connected, device, battery power is okay. And next, you should have um, two options here, get bias from the web or get bias from the device. So I advise you to get bias from the web and because of this, um, WinFlash provides two ways of device file, get bias from the web, download the bias file from the internet. So you should um, click this since you haven't downloaded it in your the device yet. So after you click that, this should pop up. So current bus information on model X 550 IU version 306 build um, 9.8.2017 and bus update information again um, X 550 IU 306 date 1.17.2018. So it is written here um, the bus file is older than your current um, bus version, and that is because I already update this um, bias but if you haven't still um, there's probably an option here and you need to click that um, it is re it should be update here and after you update um, it will log here up to there um, with the color is blue and it's going to log until here and after that there should be an information here um, press exit after I'm um, doing so after clicking exit your laptop should erase stuffs and then program um, program the new um, versions. So after you open your laptop, um, pretty much are still the same. And all you need to do is go to your AMD reading settings. And I already updated mine. Um, as you can see, it's 18.2.1 um, core clock 900 um, stuff like that. And what's new about this graphics card is just like this. We have already the ability to turn on the switch, switchable graphics right here, and you can pretty much do stuff power saving, like power saving, high performance based on power source stuff like that. And another new thing here is on the display, where you can already adjust stuff like here, color, stuff like that, and also in gaming, you'll also get the new um, settings. Um, which is the GPU workload, and I don't really know about that since I'm really new. About since I'm new, and uh, see your games there. Video, um, still the same, I guess. Yes, still the same. Connect. This is by the way new. Connect, and this is actually a web, and it's loading there, so I'm not waiting for that. Display, and that's and the version, the software, and pretty much the same. And if you're wondering the performance um, change or that, um, it really did not change that much, but 
um, just a little bit, um, I think. So in order to update your AMD Radiance settings, um, first open your AMD, um, go to updates, check for updates, and this probably should um, pop out the 18.2, and after that, you need to click the 18.2 update now, and something big, bigger will um, pop out, and just press the 18.2.1, which is the recommended, and then express install it, and that should be done already. So, um, another new thing about this is the preferences, um, the themes, um, you got the blue, the yellow, and also the default, which is the AMD Radiant settings right there, and I like to use the Kimson since it's great, and that's it, it's pretty much it, and hope you like this video, so, if you wonder that uh, performance really big deal here, um, not, not really, so my games, um, so my FIFA 16 um, logs, um, probably uh, frame drops up on battery mode, and I have already fixed that, and you can also use it in other games. So first of all, go to the power icon, um, power, power option menu, and instead of high performance, um, make it into power saver. And I'll explain that later, and go to AMD settings, and go to system, and then put FIFA 16 to power saver, power saver, and then pretty much um, some, of your, some of your games you can put it in high performance, but in FIFA 16, I guess, in on battery mode, um, the best choice is the power saver since it doesn't frame drops um, the game and it really works for me and in some cases where you have the other apps you can set it to high performance if you wish so and that's really and just for FIFA 16 since I have a problem in FIFA 16 and if you also have some FIFA games and other games um, please try that um, technique and maybe it works for you so as always guys um thank you for watching and i hope you updated your version and if you have problems just comment in the comment section so subscribe if you're not yet subscribed like if you like this video comment if you have questions and see you on my next video